What is going on guys, it's Armada, and today is going to be another guide for upgrading the Wonder Weapon in one of four ways. Now previously we did the Midnight Upgrade, and now we're doing the Bloodthirst Upgrade. Now this isn't the hardest one, there's certainly way more other ones that are really hard. <coughs> the Reaper. But if I were to rate this one in difficulty i would rate it a five it's not very hard the only annoying bit is with the pests and i don't find that very annoying but i don't know about you i don't want to waste your time and just hear me rambling on about how good this thing is by the way this is pretty good so the work is definitely worth it yeah but let's get started one thing i want to point out is to actually upgrade the tesla gun you're going to need the tesla gun if you guys don't know how to build the tesla gun then i have a guide completely dedicated to that so this video won't be really long but it will be in the description below or the eye notification at the edge of your screen so just click on that and you should be good but yeah assuming that you got the tesla weapon let's do this over here in this courtyard area right here on this lamp right here shoot your tesla gun at it you will then see this little spark coming out of it and basically you need to pull out something that shoots one time like a pistol or the mx grand or anything like that pull that out and shoot it now basically what we're doing is this little green thing just keeps traveling through these little lights and follow me as you're doing the steps it's kind of hard to remember them but just do exactly what i'm doing they don't move spots so you could just keep trying to learn where they're gonna move or just pause the game and then continue on to what i'm doing just shoot these specific ones that i'm shooting and you should be good by the way if you shoot it more than once then you will have to reset and just go back to the first lamppost and start over again you don't need to shoot it with your tesla gun or anything like that but you just need to just do what i said <laughs> Something also I would like to point out is that if you take too long shooting a yellow green thing, then it will reset and you'll have to go back to the first lamppost. To know that you're shooting them all correctly, you're going to hear a sound like this. Once you're hearing that sound, that means you have hit it and it moved on to the next location. So yeah, when you reach to the final lamp and you shoot it, the battery from the ceiling will actually fall down. Which, how the hell did this battery get up there? Because this thing is heavy. Once you press square on it, take it to this little battery chamber right here and it's going to be pretty heavy. Not as heavy as it when it's fully charged, but it's it's heavy now this is kind of the part where it's kind of a little tricky and by tricky i mean you just gotta wait a little so now you just need to get pest kills now pests are the little zombies that are really annoying and there's like flies over them and they're really fast they're easy to kill and they come in a multiple of five so like in round five round 10 round 15 20 25 this is where these little pest zombies come but once you do have a bunch of pests ready to come and by the way these pests don't run like usual zombies they kind of go around you in a giant circle and it's kind of hard to like get them in the trap which you have to do you have to kill these pest zombies with this trap in this morgue area so forgot to mention that but it's basically this little needle trap and it's kind of hard to kill them with it because they keep going in a circle i feel like if you stay close to the battery then they'll run into the trap and the way you know this is working is when little bolts of lightning actually go to the battery god that was hard you may need to do this like twice i i did it in two times it's not very hard but i only did it twice and yeah you know you have succeeded when you are able to to press square on it and you're able to pick it up but before i continue i need to let you guys know that for this next step you need to have done the lightning rod step in the casual quest easter egg so if you have not done that i have a video on it and if you're watching this as soon as it comes out the video's not out but for those of you in the future there should be an i little notification on the edge of the screen letting you know that if you press this then i'll teach you how to get all the way to the lightning rod step and further if you're interested through the easter egg and you can do this so assuming that you've done the lightning rod step in the casual quest easter egg press square and you will lift up this pretty dang heavy battery basically where you're gonna take it is in this you know generator central control pad pa pad 
and you're gonna take it here and right over here i actually had some trouble putting it in that's what she said but i managed to do it once you do put it in this is your chance to actually get everything you think you're going to need like sticky bombs wait for your ultimate to charge up because basically what you're gonna do is do like this kind of defense to protect the battery get all your perks get it pack a bunch of weapons get your tesla gun out and if you do have an upgraded tesla gun already then i really do recommend it if you have jack in a box jack in the box if you do have that i really do recommend it keeping the zombies away is good for this but once you guys are ready press the battery and it will basically close itself in and like i said you have to defend the battery from the zombies and be careful because twice in a row there was flamethrower zombies and i don't know if it's just because it's round based and i just managed to get two flamethrower zombies two times in a row while doing this but i actually think it's because of this step so yeah having the bacon and eggs upgrade which is the spawn pistol by the way the 1911 pack a punched having that is actually pretty helpful and it does beastly against these zombies congratulations you guys you have successfully protected the battery i hope then the, the central control pad will then start doing this weird thing and your remote will start vibrating and it might take a minute to give you the part but once it, you do wait that little minute it will give you a piece for the tesla gun and this is actually the only piece you need to upgrade it head back to the command room upstairs and go over here by this little circle thing and press square and you have just built yourself the bloodthirst If you guys have found this guide useful in any sort of way, if it just helped you look at what the color is or anything like that, make sure you guys drop a like. Uh, if you guys did not find it useful, leave leave a like anyways. Make sure to subscribe for more World War II zombies. As far as these wonder weapons go, I think this is a really cool one. It's not my favorite because the Midnight is my favorite. But basically what it does is, it is... It, it's it's a beast basically when you shoot a whole horde of zombies they all get stunned with this red mist around them and then they eventually blow up like grenades so if any other zombies walk past and are not even stunned they will blow up and they will die too which is cool like this is really awesome i also like to point out that the color looks cool so yeah the rest of the gameplay i'm just showing you guys it's basically just me having fun with the bloodthirst because let me just say the work you put into this is worth it this gun is pretty good but yeah for more world war ii guys like this one and if you found this one useful you'd already know what to do but for more world war ii guys like this i have a whole playlist on it so yeah make sure to check out my channel i literally just made a video on dr straub's stuff so if you want to see that expose dr straub yeah i will see you guys in your attic peace